What's up, Buttercup? Today, we're making churro cheesecake. I've never had it before. This recipe comes from Angie. She said it was a unicorn. We're gonna be the judge of that. So, first thing you're gonna do, turn your oven on 350 degrees. We need two sticks of cream cheese. Kobe, yeah! Make sure these are like softened. Remember to take these out. That's what the recipe says. Kobe, yeah! Before we do that, we gotta do this. Get a cake pan, get some orals in there, and spread it around in a separate bowl. You're gonna put some sugars. I think it's like half cup or something like that. I don't exactly know. We're gonna put some sugar. And then we're gonna put some sugars in there too. I think that's a half cup too. I'm not really sure. Oh crap, no! We were supposed to beat the cream cheese first. Linda, no! Put together your mixer smidge mason thing, my bob. Blend up your cream cheese. We were supposed to do that before we added the sugar. Ready? What do you think? I like a teaspoon and a half Z of vanillas or something like that. You definitely need the vanillas. One egg, no shell. Mix it up in your buttercup. Just so you know, we're doing this completely out of order because Linda forgot the entire process and now we're just winging it from like photogenic memory because I don't want it to stop. Quit interrupting me. Anyways, we're remembering it from the picture in my head. I don't know what we're doing. Whatever. The sugar stuff from earlier. We're gonna put a whole, oh crap. <laughs> Dusty. Put a crap ton of cinnamon in there. A little bit more sugar. They're gonna mix that up. Now we're gonna do a nice little sprinkle of that in the bottom. Get some wax paper. Open up a can of oh, crescent rolls. Just roll it out. We're gonna pinch all of our seams together and then you're gonna push it out and flatten it. Get out of my way. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna flip it right in there. Peel it off. Just like that. And then put our cheesecake mix in. Spread it out edge to edge. Don't forget to lick the spoon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right on my face, Linda. Get your wax paper again. Then we're gonna play it just like that. Do the exact same smidgemation to this as you did to the first one. Then we flip this one on top too. No, you went in there wrong. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Slide this way. No, Linda. Oh, it won't move. Oh, it's like glued to the cheesecake. Oh, whatever. Still gonna be beautiful. Broken crust, still color the same. Oh, it's a mess. Anyways. Sprinkle the rest of the cinnamon sugar on top. Listen, in the oven on 350, 30 minutes until it's done. <laughs> oh. You need to let it cool down. I've waited as long as I possibly can. We're cutting into this bad boy. Ooh. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Okay, we gotta do a taste test. I love churros, so this better be like right up there. Hold on, hold on. Every time I've ever had a churro, I have chocolate dipping sauce. So we're doing that too, because every unicorn needs a horn. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. Just look at it. It's so gorgeous. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh my gosh. Mm. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 would recommend, because this is fire. Churro cheesecake, you gotta make this, because it's a certified unicorn, and I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Do you love cheesecake and churros? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Mm. Okay, love you, bye.